moment in American pop culture that will always be remembered. Marilyn Monroe singing to JFK as he celebrated his 45th birthday. Remember that curve-hugging Jean-Louis dress she wore? Mm -hmm. Well, it's making headlines this morning. The stunning gown, which was so tight, it had to be sewn onto her body. Legend says. Put on the auction block, it went for $4.8 million. Oh, dollars. Happened at Julian's Auctions in Los Angeles. The lucky buyer, Ripley's, believe it or not, oh. believe it or not, so you can all enjoy it. The dress has 2,500 hand-sewn crystals. It had a pre-sale estimate of $3 million. The final sale price marks makes it the most expensive dress ever sold at auction, mm -hmm. surpassing another Marilyn iconic dress, that white number oh, that blew up. Yes. she wore in the seven-year itch. That went for $4.6 million in 2011. So wow. 9.4 million between two dresses. Between two dresses. But I'm glad Ripley's did it, because like you said, right. everybody gets, yeah, a, chance everybody gets a chance to enjoy that. Exactly. Also in pop news this morning, an amazing art discovery this painting that you're about to see by Frida Kahlo only partially completed whose whereabouts have been a mystery for decades has finally resurfaced it's about to hit the auction block in New York City the rare find expected to fetch up to an estimated two million dollars I guarantee you it goes over that it was discovered in the private California collection of a woman who worked for Kahlo in the 50s and was believed to be a gift from the artist's husband as a thank you. The woman, now in her 90s, took the painting to California where it hung unnoticed for 60 years. The discovery is so staggering because the Mexican government has been protecting Kahlo paintings, forbidding their export. But this one clearly slipping through the cracks. The work called Nina Con Coler. The girl with necklace was painted by the Mexican artist when she was 22 in 1929. Said by auctioneers that Kahlo probably kept the painting until her death because she had an emotional attachment to it. All of that only making it more desirable. Wow, priceless. Really mm. cool. I'm excited to see where that actually trades. And then he's back. My man, John Mayer, releasing his first single in two years. This one's called Love on the Weekend. I believe it was written for us, John and I. The first line of this song <laughs> has us saying TGIF. Listen up. It's a Friday, we finally made it. I can't believe I get to see your face. I can't believe I get to see your face too, John. Thank you. <laughs> The singer unveiling the song during a Facebook Live yesterday. It's a great song. Check it out. Also saying that with the 2017 release of his album, The Search for Everything, he has more music coming yes. than he's ever put out in one year. Mayor calls the upcoming record a mixtape, if you will, of everything that inspires him and all the styles that he's made before. And that sounds pretty darn good to us, TGIF. Anything else you'd like to say to John? Hello, John. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and we're Thank good. <laughs> Thank you, Larry.